Yeehaw! Welcome all, it's time to roll up, roll up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, for the greatest show on earth. It's the Jones and Jones Big Top of Fern in the amazing American Circus. Let's go. We just made it to the Midwest, so let's see what's going on there. Dead word. Evolutionist there. I suspect there might be some new ones introduced here, but I'm not sure. Now, let's have a look at the voodoo wagon, see if anything needs to be got rid of. Train focused, incompetent needs to go. That definitely needs to go. Right, I think we're ready. Don't you? Roll up, roll up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. We have a one-act show that will leave you staggered. We have a Yankee, a cowboy, an outlaw, and a ruffian to please. Let's see what we got for you folks. We have... In round one. A fiery Delina, the girl possessed by a fire demon. We have in round two... Charming Charmer, the illusionist. And finally bringing up the rear, the boy, girl, whatever that you'll never see, you'll never hear coming. It's Rolly Molly, the smooth tongued mime. We have a misfit among you. And it's some conjoined twins. Beautiful, aren't they? Truly, truly beautiful. Well, if you look to the left, you'll see waiting in the wings a cougar. Yes, it's Fifi, the fire dancing kitty. And on with the show. Upon any impress received, one state of mind. Swift ignore, extra ignore, stash two at the beginning of each turn. Right then. To begin with, I think some, a volcano will take you by surprise. And prepare yourself for heart's handcuffs. Here they come. For oh, you, sir. And again for you, sir. Would you believe we're fishing without a rod? And she's blowing you a smoky kiss. But what's this? Look to the left as Fifi appears for the first time! Yeehaw! We have a balloon in a hat here. <coughs> Taking your mind off our fire eater. And a Faye Valentine. Thank you. 
We're leaning in for our fire uh, for our charmer. And I think you'll be impressed out law, sir. Our charmer's going through the ringer now. A straight jacket to help you out, sir. Or actually to help her out. And one for him. Followed by a radium girl working with our fire eater here. Take a seat, sir. Prepare yourself for hearts and cuffs. One set for you, sir. And one set for you, sir. What's this? You're tired of our mind? Well, let's put him in a smaller box. And a smoky kiss will please, no doubt. Followed by a balloon in a hat here, sir. And it's a nose candle. <laughs> Perhaps some volcanic explosions will help you. And look, Fifi's back. What a way to close out the show. Time to upgrade a wagon, I think. Let's have lower prices. Perhaps a chance of positive quirks. Now then, let's see where we can go to next. Perhaps down to Grand Island. Oh, grand was Grand Island, at least un until the citizens returned to the mainland. The Union Pacific Railroad set up the Grand Island station nearby, and many of the islanders moved there, lured by the possibilities. The railroad brings jobs, people, loves, regrets, and all that for a price of your home. Don't need any food, we can just travel down there. You hearing that? Like someone's a screaming? Yeah, it sounds like a woman. There, I was thinking something's wrong with my ears. It's coming from up the hill. She might be in trouble. Let's go investigate. Take a look around. Right. Let's check the map. I think there should be a road leading up there. 
Well, first of all here and then off up the road, I guess. Right, let's visit and let's see what we have here. Uh, not that. Let's have a look at our voodoo lady. See if there's anything that needs to be done. She's tired. Well, I guess we can let her rest. Maybe bring Robbie back. Our illusionist is unprepared. Let's copy that over to our strongman, our Sasquatch. Right, roll up, roll up, roll up. It's time for the biggest show on earth. It's time for Robbie the Counting Chicken. And it's time for Precious the Aerialist. And providing some support at the back there, we've got Biggie the Sasquatch. Oh, but the misfits, the misfits coming among you, frightening in their aspect, divine in their countenance. We have a snake woman moving among you in Act 1. And we have... Join twins for Act 2. As to the finale, we've got Mimi back on her unicycle. Isn't that impressive, sirs? Isn't that impressive, ma'am? Uh, let's see, increase the press of all artists by three. Builds up half the finale and increase. Good. Spectators ignore value does not reset the beginning of the audience's turn. Okay. Right. This garden deck Fibonacci. We have an angel roll here. Impressive. And you, sir. Have you seen anything like this before? I don't think so. You seem stunned to see that we can count so well. A charming aura with our chicken there. And she is always good and ready. Oven ready. Have you ever seen a hairy bicep like this? <laughs> and Biggie's angry. Yes, he is. Now you do the math, sir. You do the math. Ah, it just leaves you, sir. Do 
Shall we see what happens when we have a sleeper? Oh, hey, above. And it's a square root special. <laughs> so I should have used the uh, do the math special. A stupid equation special shall see you stunned and entertained. Perhaps a hairy bicep too. Ah, no, but before we do that though, sir, look above you. We have Mimi. <laughs> now, sir, a hairy bicep. And a finger lift. Have you ever seen anyone as strong as our Sasquatch? Don't answer that. We know you haven't. Why, well, you can even smash a rock over him. Now yeah, we're pleased to play for the army there. Spectator's child is bored. Every impress action towards the spectator is decreased by half until the child reaches delight. Upon impress action directed at the spectator, one random card in hand is, is, is okay. Look, it's an angel oh, She's seeking attention. Ah, it's not best pleasing, but it is there. A finger lift should protect our chicken. Lifting a barrier right in front of him. And an angel roll also for the chicken. <laughs> Who's good and oven ready as always? Biggie is angry. <laughs> but don't worry, his survival instinct should protect him. Ah, bird's nest up above. Sir, not long aboard, are you? There we go. Uh. It's a square root special. And a stupid equation special. <laughs> but if you don't like the math, well, you can stay out of the kitchen smashing a rock over our che the chest of our Sasquatch. <laughs> there we go. Another success. Yeah! Not a great day for profit, but it's there. The man haunted by the devil. You can never know for sure if this man's condition is caused by something unnatural, or simply by encountering tragic events throughout his life. 
Either way, he seems to enjoy the perks of circus life. Beginning of the act, unscraps one shows and scraps card. Why is that different from her? It isn't, it's the same. Just a personal commentary here. That could have been me at one point if I was living in those times. I have depression and anxiety and sometimes that gets to you more than you realise. People with mental health disorders were often viewed as being haunted by devils. As I said, some found solace in the circus, even though it was an abusive way to find solace. Right. Let's do a quick look up here, shall we? There it is. We could use that route. I haven't heard anything in a while. That woman might be dead already. We'll find out soon enough. We'll take a trip up there. The problem is... I don't know if it'll save it after that. We'll see. An ancient burial ground of the Omaha Chiefs. A place shrouded in mystery. One has to step very carefully here so as not to offend the natives. And all the spirits said to be inhabiting this place. A heavy presence is hanging in the air. It feels as if the people depicted on the time-worn petroglyphs are watching every step made by the praying guests. You stop for a moment to let everyone rest. A second later, one of your artists approached you carefully. Hey boss, remember how that old one old man told us about the giant lumberjack, Paul Bunyan, and how it was just a story? Yeah, why, you ask? Well, the artist doesn't finish the sentence and just points behind you. You turn around agree, uh, again and see a giant, nine feet tall, approaching you. Greet the man, or prepare to defend yourself. Nutrition, health and satisfaction bars. All ingredients cost permanently down. I don't know who he is, but we'll defend ourselves if necessary. The towering man comes closer and notices you standing in defensive positions. And he starts laughing, laughing a hearty, deep giant's laugh. In the end, you lower your guard and talk to the man and he proves to be a really nice person. Though, still somewhat scary. In the end, he thanks you for a good laugh and says he'll, talk, he'll tell folks wherever he goes that you're a good sort and a fine companion. Right up the hill is tiresome and causes general displeasure among your employees. It's starting to get dark and you barely see the road ahead. The lanterns don't shed enough light. Aside from that, you haven't heard the screams for a while and everyone's getting anxious as to what you're going to find on top of that hill. This is pointless. I can barely see my goddamn feet. We're going to get there soon. Wait, hold on. You see that? You follow Uncle Jack's finger, pointing at a dark silhouette not five feet from you. You could swear she wasn't there a second ago. A ghost? Quick, get my revolver. Against a ghost? Oh my. Please, misters. I ain't no ghost. <laughs> Who are you? Who are you? I just live here. The question is, what are you doing here? We heard some screams. The woman seems genuinely surprised. You study her face and realise you can't blame Uncle Jack for his sudden outburst. She certainly evokes features of someone very ethereal and very old, even though she seems to be, at the same time, fairly young. I heard no such thing. See? No one screamed. We should get back. It's dark. You can camp next to my house, if you wish, on the top of the hill. It ain't much, but it's home, I guess. Jack, we are staying whether you like it or not. I'm not planning to break my neck, traveling in the dark. Uncle Jack bites his lip and growls. Finally, he spits out one word. Fine. It's already the middle of the night and you still can't fall asleep. Instead, you've been tossing and turning for the last couple of hours. Sometimes, you could swear you hear faint screams in the distance. But you convince yourself these are just a product of your half-asleep, half-awake imagination. That is until... Someone screams right into your ear. 
You shoot out of bed, fumble for your sheets uh, for a good minute, and to your utmost confusion, there is no one here. Your quarters are empty. What, I'm not here? Seconds pass. As you stand motionless, you can only hear your trembling breath. And you're beginning to question your sanity. Slowly, you leave the wagon, entering the darkness of the cold night. Your heart skips a beat as you make out a shape, a stranger standing in the middle of your camp. Am I going insane? Am I becoming insane? He doesn't respond. Instead, he slowly turns around and starts walking down the hill. And instinctively, you follow. Once again, this time you're sure, you can hear a woman screaming louder and louder with each step. Finally, you reach the foot of the hill and you see a lake, which you could swear wasn't here only a couple of hours ago. You observe the man putting both his hands in the water. And then something begins to happen. From the depths of the lake, a womanly figure emerges. A swollen face covered in seaweed, eyes dark as pits, arms and legs encrusted with blue popping veins, thin as needles. Purple bruises cover her ashen see-through skin. Please, help me save her. Save? How? I'm just a circus owner. Yes. Circus. Bring her joy. Bring her back to life. I beg you. Back to life? For some ridiculous reason, the man seems to believe the circus show is going to bring that ghost to life. Maybe he's right. Uh, roll up, roll up, Lillian. Um, okay. Um, we, 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 we have a show for you. I, I kind of hope you really like it. Um, or we could be in trouble. We'll have the charmer working. And Biggie. And a chicken. Our finale will be Mimi. And I hope you also enjoy um, our native, um, our, our, our um, noble uh, native. Um, yes. No, she's not at all scary. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, uh, he's buried alive, which hopefully you weren't. And you, you, you should prepare for hearts handcuffs, which I'm not entirely sure how they fit on a ghost, but we, we, we'll try. He's, he's on the table of death. Perhaps a square root special. Were you a mathematical lady in your in your history by any chance? And um, ha have some have some handcuffs maybe. And more. Uh, 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 and 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 if it helps you, um, you can smash a rock. Yes. Won't do much, but you can you can you can smash a rock. Fifteen. We we kind of hope you have a good day. Here, it's Mimi. Isn't isn't she breathtaking? Maybe not the right word to use. We, we, we have a finger lift here. I'm sure you've never seen anything like it before. And, um, uh, 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 survival instinct. A death saw. Um. 
Hopefully that doesn't offend you too much. Unplayable while in hand, sneering one whenever a card is played. Uh, we're putting him through the ringer for you. I hope you didn't get crushed in a ringer. We have a mismade girl helping helping out here. Uh, and another misguided girl. And another. We've got a stupid equation special. If you look above, Mimi's back for you. You you like Mimi, honest you will. You will. No, 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 please like her. We have a hairy bicep. And some verb in Ilan. Wasn't that fun? I think this aura will charm you. And we have a mismade girl here. Hearts handcuffs, try those on again. You seem to like them last time. We have Biggie's angry. He's not angry with you, Wallace. Don't get upset with him. And the radium girl here, looking after our chicken. We have a table of death here. Not that it did much good, but it was there. Look, he's got a hairy bicep. I think you'll like that. And look above, it's Minnie. You liked her, you liked her. I know you did. Please don't cut her away. wire. Was that fun for you? Oh, she's happy. You did it! My sweet Lillian. A dead woman's feet don't leave tracks on the shore. She approaches the man for a slight second, they embrace before her body dissolves into his. Acting as if nothing happened, he introduced himself as William. He has nowhere to go and seems eager to join you to somehow return the favour. Hmm? My dear Lillian? Ah, yes. No. He knows. We cannot have that. What? No. My what? As the two of you return to the circus camp, Uncle Jack emerges from the cookhouse, in which he's been hiding ever since you woke up, everybody, hollering for artists to resurrect a ghost. He keeps shouting about a skeleton in Lillian's shack. But he immediately stops himself at your sight, slowly raising his finger. Jack points above William's shoulder. What is, is there? Uncle faints theatrically. You look at William's shoulder, you don't see a thing, only a glimpse of a shadow. Quest a man and a ghost and a love story completed. 
All right. Um, they came to us. We can't prepare any food. So the next would be Topeka, small Midwest, 1854, 33608. For years, abolitionists and slavers fought here until the state became part of the Union. It was successfully defend. It successfully defended itself from many a Confederate raid, and enjoyed a sudden growth after former slaves settled down in the area. And although in the U.S. of A. economic shadows lurk, the citizens of Topeka are ready to take that bull by the horns. Last save Topeka, which is where we are. We we'll landed there. Oh, actually, we won't. Not yet. I just want to check something. Uh, is it an artist? No. Is it a bizarre bizarre? Yes, Lillian's ghost. Dead but not bound to the physical world. With more than just a mere memory. Lillian's ghost will haunt the circus forever and assist you in some serious money making. She could be used for like two. If we ever have an act three, she'd definitely be useful. Alright, and there we have it. If you want to help us out, we have a three ring circus for you. Ring one is the comment section where I'll respond to anything you say. Ring 2. Here's the like and subscribe if you want to help the circus and the channel grow, that's where you go. And Ring 3. It's the other videos around the channel for your delight and entertainment. Go check them out. I've been Yorkie. You've been fantastic and the show. I've been sleeping. Bye now.